Good afternoon everyone. I'm the Singing Crafter and I have a short tutorial on how to add a layout to your blog. Now this is for the newbies. I know a lot of you guys know how to do this already but I'm a newbie as well and I just figured this out a couple days ago but it's super easy. Now what you're looking at is a blog of mine and all the black is the current layout but that's going to change going to start off by going to a new tab in Internet Explorer. I'm going to type in Mama Free Blog. I'm going to click on this top link right here. Now I'm going to have the address listed with this video so you can have easy access to this site. But this person have listed a whole page, and I'm going to scroll down, of different sites that offer free web layouts or free blog layouts and I'm going to pick on the one that states bling on the blog right here. I'm going to open that up and maximize it and scroll down and these different layouts that you see are free and if you notice under each layout there's a text box that has a code in the inside. Well you find a layout that you like and I happen to like this one and this is the corresponding box that goes with the layout. Now you want to start on the top of the box. Make sure this bar is all the way at the top of the arrow. Click inside the box and highlight everything in it. You want to scroll down. and Look at that bar on the right. When it touches the end of the bottom arrow, you know you have everything highlighted. It's so very important that you highlight everything because you're going to copy everything in this box and if you miss a word um, your layout may not post correctly so I have just copied everything in the box I'll do it again right click inside the box click copy and go ahead well I'm going to X out of this page I'm going to return to my blog hey it's still black well it's supposed to be because we haven't customized it yet. Go ahead and click customize. Now this is the blueprint of your blog. This is how everything is set up and you can change um, these things around. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do that. But pay attention to the blue tabs that states add a gadget. You can open up any one of these and copy your link but just know wherever you open and copy your link it's going to be a link left from the person who created that layout. It's going to be left wherever you copy it. So let's say if you want the link to be left on top, open up this gadget. If you want it to be on bottom, open up this one. Want it to be to the side, open up that one. Well, I don't care if her link is left on top of my blog because I like her layout. Now, once you open up that gadget, you're going to see a list of all these icons. The one that we are interested in is this one, and it's it's the HTML slash Wava script, if I pronounce that correctly. We'll go ahead and, and click on the plus sign to add that. And inside of the content box, right click and click paste, and you see the link or the code that was copied, and that's a pretty big code. That's why you want to make sure that you have everything highlighted so you copy everything. Now in the title bar, you can leave a title, but if you do, it's going to show up in your blog. So if you don't want to have a title showed up in your blog, leave it blank. That's what I normally do. And go ahead and click save right here. And if you notice, this box right here populated inside your layout, that lets you know that you have um, added something to your layout. Let's go ahead and view the blog. And you click right here, view blog, and let's see what happens. Wow, did you see how that went from black to pink? And that was super duper easy. Now you probably can't see it right here, but this is the link that I was talking about that's left on top of your blog, and it states Bling Designs by Bling on the blog and you can click on that or anybody on 
anyone who visits your blog can click click on that and they'll be taken back to her site now if you wanted to remove this background and um, add another one go back to customize and you can click on edit this is your layout that you just added click on edit and click on remove are you sure you want to remove this page element from your page click OK and let's view the blog then as you can see it's back to black I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial until I see you again have a wonderful day. Thank you.